And what I think in this room we all just call a person. Okay. So, here is uh, the first of two things. This one's called Working Girl. Monday to Friday, night to five, I strive all week to survive, stay alive, and I try to keep me head above water, I order now how to swim, never learn, so I'm treading, dreading the moment the bailiffs come do me head in. I pay the gas bill, but then the lucky's due, put that on me car, but then my rent comes out too, and I'm overdrawn, stretching, it's a testifying the time and cash to keep this weight off my mind, so I better steal and borrow to make ends meet. Core is a cheap, but it keeps me bearing shoes and his feet, and it's as easy as pie to judge from up high, laughing at Jeremy Kyle, because people are miles away from your play dates, your days pass in foie gras, thousand pound bras, you think they're from Mars, I'm just a single man trying to hold it all down, because Danny's too busy sticking his dick around town, so don't give his grief, I'm just getting by, I like to see your ladies do lunch, give my life a try, I... I, I am sick of being dismissed, a piece of shit you flick from the tip of your hot couture, pussy galore, Jimmy choose, I chose a choice to use my voice to spit the truth, so let me lay it down for you, without the working class, the being they bite the clean the glass, on your four story Tory conservatory, you obviously got tax free from your friends in high places, playing the aces, keeping the likes of us royally flushed down the shitter, not bitter, just twisted, let's fuck them all, fisted by a government who only looks after their own, they say charity begins in your second home, or your mansion, or your palace, or your Pierre de Terre, keep the masses dancing like Fred Astaire, moving the goalposts, you us on our tippy toes, what the fuck do you know about the way I live my life, now, so forgive me if I shout about that fact, you fat cats, I am cash strapped to the tracks of your benefit cuts, you've got the banks of your arse, but you call us the sluts. <laughs> So yeah, that's that. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll do another one now. Uh, this one is called Closing the Library. Does what it says on the tin. <laughs> it's harder when I'm not in heels, which is like a weird thing. Um, so. <laughs> Me local MP, he paid us a visit. I dropped in the centre, held at the clinic near me flat. So I went round for a chat to make sure that he knew it was my opinion that closing the library, which has been there for years, would have me kids in tears. And without that fear for their learning, because they're learning, but I don't have the money to buy them new books, and it's really not funny, because without them, I worry that both of my kids could end up not reading as well as they should. And he just sat there thinking I'm a piece of shit. As he all got me tits for the whole five minutes in which I was there. You know, you know. In which I was there, oh, here he is again. <laughs> I forget it when I'm not in <laughs> 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 trouble. So I'm just thinking that I'm a bit of 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 a And he just sat there thinking I'm a piece of shit as he all windled all the tricks for the whole five, five minutes in which I tried to name the point. Uh, but he heard not a word from this northern bird of the truth that I spoke. It's a, it's a shame that this blokes all these toppy nose blokes scrubbing for votes. That's got a word. Scrambling for votes. Uh, this is embarrassing. I'm so sorry. Revoking the oath that they solemnly swore to speak up for the rights of both rich and poor. Now, accuse me all you like of snobbery and vain. If I wish to pride poor, it's daylight robbery converted into budget cuts or austerity measures because belts must be tightened and leisure's a pleasure. We can't afford no more holidays abroad or mortgage awards or reading for all. Well, hang on one sec. Last time I checked, literacy is not a bonus, but a vital aspect of the education of the next generation of this struggling nation. There's a clear correlation between levels of learning and earning potential. So closing the libraries will be detrimental to the future of kids in my community, but your public school children have immunity from your actions, because cash transactions keep the books on the shelves of their schools set in mansions. Now, don't get us wrong. I've no calm with private schooling. Just the fact that it separates the majority from the ruling class. So for other one after can't help but talk shit and spew not disgust for the chat. So ask that you hear.
get at the point I make control dismiss because we have to know because we tits are big and don't harshly criticize if I split the infinitive my school name is limited the answer is definitive my teacher despair because I played with me hair pretend I didn't care so no one would be aware that I couldn't read the question never mind know the answer over time his shame festered and grew like I have cancer feeding off me silence till everyone thought I was that type of girl who just would not be taught and so I wasn't and it wasn't until I saw someone on stage rapping away with words that I've used every day for years that the tears started rolling. There was no control of me, mind was unfolding, beholding the true nature of what I have lost. That not reading books is not the real cost of being illiterate, but not having the means by which to give voice to the shapes of your dreams to make frozen the sun, or hear the stones cry, or have time run backwards, or ask the gods why. So I enrolled in other classes and I learned how to do it, my ABCs, and I finally got through it, and I read, and I write, and I speak from my soul. I'm Cameron's worst nightmare, an erudite prole. <laughs> but it's all I can do is ask them to listen and hope that my words make them change their decisions but they won't because you see when they look at me they don't see a lady hoping for better they just see me sweater, me tracksuit and cap and assume that everything that I speak is crap because I'm just a cog in their well-oiled machine just a rat on the wheel of their corporate regime when I don't deserve no because I'm probably a whore with six kids from four fathers and you would say oh well no probably not but I will anyway because in this day and age this is the only way that people like me well whatever that means get our voice heard get our views green with the press in their pocket and police were corrupt our voice is silenced this country is fucked make up their own to be used when they spread all their mind. I write, no matter how little you teach us, you can count on one thing. We'll never be speechless. <laughs>